Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor on Xbox Series S. It got a really big update slash patch today, and I'm really curious if the game is finally in a better playable state than it first was because it, it it wasn't that good it was at like 1080p really low graphics 30 fps ish if it could get to 30 fps most of the time it, it it was between 20 and 25 it it was a mess let's be honest so yeah i'm really curious let's go check it out first of all let's see how much data the game is oh i just added it to home <laughs> one further um the game is 102.6 gb it's version 1.0011 the game's not on game pass it probably will be on game pass somewhere maybe this year or next year or somewhere because it's an ea game ea games always come to game pass somehow some way so yeah if you're watching this in the future it's on game pass hey good for you the game is optimized for the new gen consoles way better than it was before i've been playing it a little bit so let's just start it up you guys if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you're really helping out the channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a yeah daily basis new games updates on games uh old games and even a little bit of hardware here and there so ea it's in the stars no i'm i'm really curious i'm actually really curious so i was watching twitter they um they didn't say much about the xbox series s version so i've got the patch notes right next to me so this is the patch notes for uh september 5th of 2023 and um, it's coming out for uh, PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. Here are the fixes you can expect with this patch. The patch introduces several performance-related improvements on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S X. Performance has completely been reworked and a number of GPU, GPU and CPU optimizations along with disabling ray tracing so there's no ray tracing anymore in the game that said it has should be a better player experience including a solid 60 fps in the performance mode but there's no performance mode in the xbox series s version so yeah i was a little bit disappointed by that fact so we've got no way to get this game in performance mode. Let's start the game. That said, it's still 1080p. It's still 30 FPS. But it's finally stable. So that's something. And I must say, it's, it's actually a really good update from the state it was at first so the game still runs at 30 fps on your series s um yeah i wish there was a option to get like 60 fps i know it's possible and before anybody says yeah it's not possible it's unreal engine 4 that's one second EA just released Immortals of Avium with a game that runs on Unreal Engine 5 in 60 FPS on the Series S. So, at least give us the option. That's the least you should do. I know there's a possibility with FSR, with... Um, with with uh, some, 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 some techniques... 200% sure that this game could run a performance mode on the Series S. It, yeah. So there is still 
These old dams aren't held together by much. Some possibilities to go. Uh, let's see, where do we Where do we go now? been a long time since I played this. Here we go. You know, in terms of graphics, you can definitely see that there are differences. You know, it's way more stable. The frame rate is a hundred times more stable than it was ever before. I, I know it's possible. Kablooey! You know, if you see this, these, these graphics are amazing. These are some of the best graphics you can get, maybe even on the Series S. Alright, But, yeah. I'm, I, I think it's a really good idea that they uh, turned off the, 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 the ray tracing. Because I thought the, the ray tracing was also available on the Series S version. And it made the game completely unplayable, almost. It wasn't good. Desperate Echoes. Let's see, where do we need to go? Where do we go now? Commando droid. And it, it's a fluid 30 FPS. Something it was not. It definitely was not. Stable 30 FPS. But this looks good. You can say what you want. You can hate it what you want. But this looks good. Oh, darn it. Ah, uh, okay. Already know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. How do I throw my lightsaber again? There was a way to th throw your lightsaber, right? I have no idea. You know what? Ah! Darn it. Uh, this is also not... This is not the way. <laughs> hey, look at this. Don't think we can slice that. And these light effects are gorgeous, by the way. So yeah, I really hope that they still work on the game, optimize it, and give us at least a performance mode. I don't care how you do it. There are possibilities. If you see games like um, a Gears of War in Unreal Engine 5 uh, and Unreal Engine 4, it looks gorgeous. Hey, what have you found? You want to press it, right? Oh, man, how do I do that again? Here we go. Those things back a bunch. Yeah, they do. That could be useful. And we need another one. Oh, and I need to heal. Yeah. Where are those balls? Great balls of fire. Oh, darn it. Yeah. They need to follow you first. That was the trick. Come on, follow me, boy. Come on, boy.
that did the trick. Here we go. Wahoo! Let's keep moving. We're almost there. This is really not pleasant. Look at that creature. You know, in graphic in terms of I'm complete. Yeah, in terms of graphics, it's an amazing update. Truly amazing. By the way, I have a really cool Lego set from uh, PD1. You'll need to get that one. Sometime. Should have left you in that rat tar nest. Yeah, really cool. But yeah, you guys, this is Jedi Survivor, the patch seven version of the game, and uh, yeah, really great upgrade, really awesome, really good graphically, mwah, perfect. But yeah, my wish is still a performance mode in the future and maybe be a little bit more clear on Twitter and on um, on your website because this is not clear. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. See you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.